I'm spilling the secrets on the most effective and fun games to use in your middle school math classroom to review for state testing without it feeling like boring review. If you're a middle school math teacher, keep watching because we are going to make test prep easy and relevant and earn you huge brownie points with your admin while reaching all of your learners. If you are new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom with their students while saving time and money with their lesson planning and resources. So let's dive into some of my favorite test prep games, shall we? All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Share, I'm sharing my screen with you to show you my first game that I love so much. This is called my math challenge showdown. I love this game so much because it's very similar. It's just like Jeopardy and, but you can easily customize it to what you need and you can easily just make this in Google slides. Like that's what I just did here. So the way that students play is I'm going to take this into slideshow mode. Um, sorry that the screen is not a bigger, but you get the point. So students can just like Jeopardy, they can say, okay, I want one sub equations for a hundred. So I'm going to click the hundred button and then it's going to pop up with the question for them. This is blank right now. It says insert question here because this is a, uh, brand new game that I just made and I have not gone in and created any of the questions yet. But you can see exactly what happens, right? If they pick distributed property 100, it will take them to the distributed property 100 question and they'll either answer it and get points or don't get any points because they might have gotten it wrong. But this game is super fun and I love it because again, you can customize it to what you need. So you can customize this to whatever, um, math concepts you're teaching, or if you wanted to use it for test review, like I'm doing, I can bring back all of these old math concepts that we might not have talked about for a while and bring it back in a super fun way. Okay. Next game is probably my favorite game to play and students beg to play this game. It is called grudge ball. You do need a Nerf ball and a Nerf basket. If you don't have a Nerf basket, you can use like a trash can or anything like that, that, you know, students can throw things in, but I would highly recommend a Nerf ball because it is very soft and you can just ensure that nobody gets hurt by it. Um, one thing to note that it is important that you talk about the rules and appropriate behavior during this game. So like, we're not throwing the ball at each other. We're not, you know, like any, whatever, it, because this gets rowdy and it's, it's supposed to get rowdy and it's supposed to get fun and I'm all about it, but there are parameters that we have to stay in between, right? Okay. So let's dive into how do we play? You can see here, this is an image of my classroom board. I have split my class into teams of three. You can do teams of three, four, five probably would work, but I don't know if I would do more than five. That would get just, it's just a lot to like manage. Um, but each, all of these X's represent lives. So team one has 10 lives, team two has 10 lives, team three has 10 lives, okay? And I tell my students that every team must be prepared to answer the question, even if it is not your turn, because you need to be ready to steal if that's possible. So what I do is I will put one question underneath my document camera so that everyone can see the question. If it is team one's turn, they have an opportunity to answer the question. If they get it correct, then a member of that team can come up to the board. You take away a life of another team and then that student, or they could pick another student to can come up and try to throw the ball into the basket. I do have, um, a spot on my classroom floor that students have to stand behind. So they can't just like come up and throw it up, throw it into the basket. They have to stand behind what I call, I have blue tape along the floor. They have to stand behind the blue line and then try to throw it from there. If they make the basket, they can come up and take the life of another team. If they don't make the basket, then, okay, great. You did a good job. Move on to the next question. Okay. If team one, ended up getting it wrong, then team two has an opportunity to steal. But if team two is like, uh, I was just sitting here and like, we're being, you know, like we're not listening and we're like, and then 
and then team one gets it wrong and then you're like, oh, team two, do you have the answer? And they're like, oh wait, like we haven't, we haven't figured it out yet. Like, nope, too bad, so sad. I'm moving on to team three because you should have been paying attention and trying to solve it all along, right? And I do this for two reasons. It's to keep everybody engaged in the process and I, it's to keep everyone practicing every single question that I'm giving, even though it's not your turn. Um, and then last team standing wins, right? It's so fun and it's much harder to score a basket than you think. Um, I may or may not have spent a solid 30 minutes just trying to score baskets myself and it's very hard. <laughs> um, kids will look and go like, oh, it's so easy. It's not easy. Uh, I would recommend you get a Nerf, a Nerf ball basket set at like Target. That's where I got mine. Um, and it, you know, it was like 12 bucks or Amazon, I'm sure. <clears throat> and just post it on your wall and it's so fun. Okay, next game, grudge ball. Seriously, so, so, so fun. Students beg to play weekly. <laughs> All right. The next game that I love so much is a game called Justify It. This is perfect for test prep and it's perfect if you want to use previously released test questions that have multiple choice. So assuming you are using previously released test, test questions with the options or with the answer choices A, B, C, and D, you're going to label your four walls with A, B, C, and D. You're going to put the answer or put the question up on the board or under your document camera or however way you want to project the question. And then you project all the answers to students will solve the question, figure out what their answer is, and then go stand at the wall that matches their answer. So if they think the answer is answer B, they will go to the wall where it has B on it and go stand there. But it's not over yet. It's not that's not like. There's more. Um, what I love about this game is like, okay, if a student decides, all right, I think the answer is B, I'm gonna go walk over the wall, I'm gonna stand over by B, and boom, done. No, no, you as a teacher are gonna choose a couple of students and say, hey, so Cecilia, why did you think the answer was B? Explain to me your thinking why it's B and not A, right? So your student Cecilia would be like, well, I think it was B because I solved, I did this, da, 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 and I got the answer this. It's so powerful because it's important for students to be able to verbalize what they did, but even more powerful that other students can hear the thinking of that student or the thinking of just other students in solving the problem, especially if they didn't know how to solve something or if they're, you know, like they solved it one way, but then are learning that, hey, you know, um, Brad was able to solve it in a different way, but we got the same answer. Like, that's pretty cool. To be able to hear other people's thinking, justifying their answers is super, super powerful when we are test prepping or really any time of year. And there you have it. My three favorite test prep games to play as a whole class that's seriously going to change test prep for you. Check out our next video where I'm gonna be sharing my favorite digital review games to make test prep fun and engaging. You're not gonna believe it, but your students will be begging to play these games. Register now for our next free training all about test prep success, especially for middle school math teachers, where I'm gonna show you everything you need to prepare for your R-State test, making it easy, relevant, practical, and sharing strategies with you that you can implement right away. And you'll be able to print a, a certificate of one hour of attendance that you can use for professional development. All you have to do is click the link right below this video and come sign up for our next training. Can't wait to see you there.